Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another video, and at the time that I'm doing this voiceover, which is December 27th, I, my child, and my husband all have COVID, and luckily we're doing okay, not great, but highly do not recommend, 0 out of 10, yeah, um, I still don't know how we got it, it's just like one of those things that have happened, but... Anywho, um, as you can see, this library is a complete mess. We had guests um, due to recent events in the family. We had to have guests here, and this was Layla's temporary nursery to sleep in. So, um, yeah, it's chaotic. Also, there's Layla. Say hello, little child. You know, she looks so innocent, but she's dangerous. She gets a hold of my books and tries to assassinate them, so look out for that. <laughs> Layla. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm not welcome in my own library.
Hi guys, I finished as you can see my TBR cart. It's kind of like not super organized. These are some books that are kind of like on my radar and that I want to read. And then up at the top here, which you can't really see that good right now, but at the top I have books that my audiobook library hold came through. And then at the bottom I have some quicker reads that I want to get to. So yeah, I haven't really like been on here because I was kind of trying to build up that confidence to actually be on camera because I'm feeling a little weary and tired and uh, like I got the weight of the world on my shoulders but it's gonna be okay so let's kind of just keep it light and fluffy i don't want to get too like emotional or delve too much into things that are bothering me right now but boy are there a ton of things that are just as you may have seen i got an alternate cover for empire of the vampire and it looks like this it looks like this let me get closer so i got this one really cheap because this was a defective version of this dust jacket that i ordered so the issue with it is on the back right here i think this is supposed to say this or let me see yeah it's supposed to say this but it says that <laughs> i'm just gonna pretend that's like some old english or something so i didn't really mind that defect I just kind of love this alternate cover and it's actually really stunning so I got that on a whim and here we are <laughs> there's that and then Inkyard sent me some finished copies of books that I had arcs for let me show you guys that they sent me a finished copy of Roman and Jewel by Dana L Davis or Dana I don't know this is a I believe this is like wow I'm so stupid this is a Romeo and Juliet spin. This book is about a girl named Jersey James. And there's this hot new show on Broadway called Roman and Jewel. And she really wants to be the lead in this. And she unfortunately ends up being the understudy instead to a more popular, oh, she's like an R&B megastar. And she ends up getting the lead role in this Broadway play and then she starts falling for the male lead in the show and then finds out that this megastar wants him for herself so there's drama then a video of Jersey the main character and Reed the guy character goes viral of them practicing the world is kind of weighing in on who they think should be the main lead in the show so it's super interesting sounds kind of cute it's a short book and I really am excited to read the finished copy it just looks like it'll be a nice like quick read so next I have a finished copy of this. So in this one, the queen of the kingdom is killed or she's dead. And there are two princesses who are twins. They're both heirs for the throne. And one is whisked away to train with her aunt, the firebird. And the other one stays at court. Once one of the twins finishes their training, she, this power kind of like explodes inside of her and she realizes that her mother is dead and she has to go back to court and there's just like drama you know two heirs one throne type of thing we'll see this one sounds interesting as well so this next one i got a finished copy of is the right side of reckless okay so on the back it says it's so wrong this girl's linked to the one person who can tell my parole officer if i'm messing up trust me i'm on my toes with her i can't mess up again so wrong but feels all right and then he said that and then the girl says why is the one guy i'm supposed to stay away from the only one i feel comfortable enough to be myself with yeah honestly they look like they're gonna be an interesting pair <laughs> this one seems so interesting and it kind of has like you know the goody two shoes girl and the bad boy guy that's trying to turn his life around and i like that sounds like a fun duo and then we have this golden flame 
by Emily Victoria. Orphaned and forced to serve her country's ruling group of scribes, Karis wants nothing more than to find her brother long ago shipped away. But family bonds don't matter to the scriptorium whose sole focus is unlocking the magic of an ancient automation automaton army. In her search for her brother, Karis does the seemingly impossible. She awakens a hidden automaton. Intelligent with a conscience of his own, Alex has no idea why he was made or why his father, their nation's greatest traitor, once tried to destroy the automatons. Suddenly, the scriptorium isn't just trying to control Karis, it's hunting her. Together with Alex, Karis must find her brother and the secret that's held her country in its power for centuries. So, yeah, that's this one. So, thank you, Inkyard Press, for those books. So I'm actually supposed to be filming a video for Inkyard and I need to pick a couple of their books for that. So I'm going to have to look through my shelves and figure that out right now. I don't know what this video is. I'm sorry guys. I hope it's something that you guys can actually enjoy. But oh, we could talk about my current read, which I am enjoying so much. I'm currently reading The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. And this book is literally so good. But something just happened that really has me emotional. And I'm so scared that this is going to be like a final thing. Like something that's unchangeable. And I don't care how weak it makes me. But I don't want this to be final. <laughs> So yeah, I'm nervous, but oh my god, these books are literally the best escapism right now and I'm so grateful that I bought all three books because I could literally read The Kingdom of Copper, which I finished um, in October and jump right into this literally the same day and I just really needed that. So yeah but i am really really enjoying this this is definitely going to be unless the end really is messed up and horrible <laughs> this is going to be like literally my one of my favorite series of all time period like ugh, i just love it so much and alizade el katani has my heart i don't care what anybody says about him i don't care if people think he's too religious He's bae and he's hubby material and I don't care. I don't care. All these could get it. Uh, not for me because I'm married. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I have so many tabs and I kind of have to update some tabs because I started, I started listening to the audiobook. So I need to go in here and like add some tabs. Uh, probably a lot because I've really been listening to the audiobook because I needed to know what was going on and I was tired of waiting until my daughter would give me time to read physically so yeah that's what's going on I'm kind of like really taking my time but I need to read or I need to complete 14 more books this year to reach my reading goal and I am determined I might have to really switch up my TBR to some shorter books but uh, I just really want to for once like complete my reading goal and honestly I think next year I'm literally just gonna make like my reading goal very small <laughs> just so I don't have this stress like I know I said I'm not gonna stress but I'm stressing it's so typical of me like honestly but I'm looking really crusty today and pale honey cuz I've been at home I haven't been nowhere where no sun at like mmm not the hyperpigmentation that is that i got some i got a diffuser is it diffuser i got my diffuser going and i had some scents that's supposed to give you some happiness some energy because mine is tanked all right that is all um for my little miniature vlog i will i guess talk to you guys in another video um i have a lot of pre-filmed footage and i may put it up or not i don't know i kind of have been a mess with organizing my clips so this is just going to be all over the place i just hope y'all enjoy the content anyway if you're looking at the video and you're like wait what you're talking about kingdom of copper and you're reading empire of gold just act like that's not the case okay <laughs> i'm too exhausted to 
have any type of order happening right now and I'm sad so thank you for watching I will see you next time and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and share this channel with your friends bye <laughs>